Uh, thank you, Kehirlock. Um, leader, today I actually want to raise an issue. Uh, it, it's actually just about, exp it's, it's probably suitable for you, Leader, and, and the Kehirlock actually as well. And it's about the expression of sympathy for former members. Um, we're now in the next couple of months hitting the two year mark, really, of this Senate term. And for the last 18 months, we haven't been able to have expressions of sympathy. One of the reasons for that is naturally. It is a very important day for the families of former members who come in here, uh, spend the day here, and we haven't been able to have uh, guests in. But I think when we consider where we are now with COVID compared, compared to where we were just last year, it's much more feasible that expressions of sympathy take place. Um, and I would really appreciate it if we could consider outlining a time frame for when that could happen in 2022 uh, or in the new year. And one of the reasons that I'm doing it is in particular, I, I know that a number of senators have passed away in the last 18 months, but in particular, Senator Terry Brennan um, from my own uh, part of the world uh, in County Louth passed away in June, to uh, in June 2020. We're now 18 months on. My own family availed of it two or three years ago. It's a very special moment for families when members speak about their family members who served in this house. Uh, I would really appreciate it if we could set out a timeline for when we'll have expressions of sympathy for Senator Terry Brennan uh, and along with all the other former members who've passed away in recent months.